Okay, a while ago, somebody left a comment on my CarPlay video saying that CarPlay apps are useless, pointless, because they have no real value. And after seeing that comment, that no did not offend me, of course, but I did hate it my mission to actually research to see what apps are actually valuable and useful, not just a gimmick and can actually provide real value. So I've tested well over a hundred CarPlay apps and while some were very disappointing, others were absolutely amazing. So here are the top 40 apps that I'll be showing to you because there's a lot of apps, but I'll be sure to include timestamps underneath in the description down below in case you need to go back as well as the links to download them in the description. The first app is called Brave and this is a web browser app that actually allows you to actually offload videos like YouTube and listen to them for free as you drive. It works extremely well, I highly recommend. But if you have an Amazon account, you have access to Audible. And with the Audible account, it lets you listen to your audio books on demand. But if you're not a Prime member, audio books, that app works just as well. Bookmates is also another great app that allows you to on-demandly listen to your audiobooks. And then you also got Lily by OneDrive and even Walmart has its own ebook app as well. And then if you have an EV, you'll get a lot of usage with PlugShare as it will actually show you every single EV charger available, including Tesla, Electrify America, EVgo, and more all in one single app. Or if you do drive a gasoline vehicle, the Chevron app actually allows you to actually pay in your car as you pull up next to a gas pump without having to risk your credit card from getting stolen from a schemer. But real quick, here's a quick word from today's video sponsor. Have you ever Googled yourself and been shocked to see your personal information exposed in one of those public listing sites? Do a quick Google search of your name, email address, or phone number, and you'll see it right there and those people search sites will show up. It's alarming, isn't it? Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, scammers, or others who just want to learn more about you and where you live. But I'm excited to introduce to you Aura, today's video sponsor. Aura can identify these data brokers that are exposing your information and will submit an opt-out request on your behalf. Aura makes it super easy to protect yourself and your family from those online threats you can't see. With Aura, you can get everything you need in one single place. Antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more, all at one affordable price. Aura found my information on the dark web, and because of this, I was able to remove it and opt out from those scammy data brokers. Let Aurora do all the hard work and keep your information safe from online so you can focus on other tasks with a peace in mind. Try Aurora for free for two weeks using my links in the description or on the screen so you can also take advantage of this. Don't let other profit off your private information. Go to aurora.com and start your two weeks free trial today. Got the munchies, the dominoes, Dunkin', Panera Bread will actually allow you to make advance orders for pickup without having to make a phone call or get distracted while you're driving if you use the iPhone app. Here you can control everything off your CarPlay infotainment screen. And then when it comes to navigation, Google Maps is an amazing alternative to Apple Maps. I like using this the most majority of the time due to the fact that it's easier to offload maps sections and the lanes and also updates on road conditions are more consistent on Google Maps, especially when it comes to newly developed neighborhoods. But you also have access to Waze, which is great to use if you live like in the Bay Area or highly populated areas with a lot of constructions as Waze is a community driven app that will also always give you the most accurate on time prediction so you don't arrive late to work. If you're a biker with a CarPlay screen on your motorcycle, River is in a navigation app that's made for motorcycles. And then you got Inroute, which gives you a lot of data information revolving around current as well as future traffic conditions. If you drive a sport car and you like to find some fun twisty roads, there is Roads, which is powered by Porsche Route Planner. X Roads allows you to find some amazing off-road trails when you want to go on a four-wheel adventure. Weather on the way lets you see the weather condition to your route. 
Then if you want to listen to your live team. Unfortunately, as of time making this video, we only have access to two main sports like MLB and HL and everybody else. You can find them on third party apps. So one of which is can be found in TuneIn. The TuneIn app will feature all your favorite sports that you see right here. In addition to that, you can also find some local radio stations here as well. So the TuneIn actually serves multiple purposes. You can also find podcasts, but it's pretty limited on this podcast from my experience. Who knows, maybe you could find one that you like. And then for news, CBS Radio, NPR One, our amazing news source CarPlay apps for all the latest news coverage. And if you're into stocks, there's also CNBC Stock Marketing and Business. For project communication, Cisco Webic Meeting is supported on CarPlay. Then you also got Microsoft Teams, WhatsApp, Zoom Cloud Meeting, as well as Lynn can be used on your CarPlay. For music, if you're a Prime member, you actually have access to Prime Music, which is free and it's included in your Prime membership. You'll be surprised how many free songs you can actually store and save, as well as create custom playlists off the free, play well, included premium service you have with Amazon. But if you have Spotify, of course you have Spotify. I personally prefer using YouTube Music because I have a subscription to YouTube Prime, so I get a discount included with my YouTube Music in this little cool bundle. The reason why I like YouTube Music the most is because its algorithm for discovering new music is actually based off your history. And out of all the services I tried, I think YouTube Music has the best one. So feel free to give it a try. I'll include some type of promo code in the description. Then you have Dash Radio. This is perfect for those that just don't want to listen to something that's mainstream. Independent artists are usually on here. If you keep going through tracks, there's no ads as this is like a radio station setup. Overcast lets you offload and works amazingly well with your Apple Watch, which is another great podcast app. Stitcher for podcasts, which does a good job on recommending you new podcasts based off your history. So if you're looking to test something new, see what other podcasts are available, Stitcher is a good one. Now, honorable mentions, of course, Pandora is free. It allows you to listen to somewhat demand music on demand, as well as listen to radio stations. And then of course you have iHeartRadio for a community focused radio listening experience with real folks like you and I. And just like that, those are the 40 top apps I found that are valuable that I highly recommend others to definitely check out. Again, links to them in the description. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe, especially if you download one of them. If you have some that you wish to recommend for us as well, also be sure to comment down below and let us know. I'll be in the comment section communicating with you guys. Now don't be a noob. Make sure you enable some of these features on CarPlay so you also get the most value out of the OS portion side of things. So definitely do check out that video right after this one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.